Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Ty, Modern Renaissance Man, coming at you guys with another video, and I'm going to be going into a little bit more uh, depth with the benefits of juicing. And first of all, the great thing about juicing is this there's no need for the stomach to break down uh, solid form into liquid form before it enters into your system. So that's already ridden your body of having to use a lot of energy to do that motion right there. You're kind of saving your body a step. So by that being done that way, it's allowing your body to have quicker uh, nutrient absorption. So anyway, the whole point of doing juicing is that <clears throat> the juices, they get into your system. They actually help pull toxins from tissues. And what I mean by tissues is like your muscles, your organs, you know, nerves, uh, skin, that's what tissues pretty much mean. It just pretty much means something that's tangible or something that you can pretty much touch. And um, it does that through the uh, lymph system. And uh, the lymph system pretty much brings the um, toxins to the liver by the way of circulation through the blood. So, and one thing that's good about that is that I mentioned before in an earlier video is that the liver pretty much is kind of pretty much your immune system. And... Um, it produces enzymes that pretty much uh, break down and it actually kind of kills a substance that's toxic to the body. That's pretty much what the liver does. But also, the liver uh, produces bile, and bile that's produced by the liver is used to break down fats and proteins and carbs that we take in whenever we eat certain foods. So, um, also, the liver is used to um, help get rid of cholesterol, it helps break down and metabolizes like uh, drugs that you put into your system, be it uh, illegal drugs or uh, even drugs from the doctor. So that's pretty much a little bit about the liver, but um, it's very important in keeping you healthy and also breaking down toxins and helping getting toxins out of your body. Other things in your body help detoxify as well, but nothing does it more efficient and more than the liver. So, um, on this juicing thing, uh, I mentioned that I like for people to do uh, carrots. And the reason why I say carrots is because carrots are loaded with so many um, vitamins, nutrients, and minerals. For instance, um, carrots contain uh, vitamin A. It contains vitamin C, vitamin D, E, K. It contains a vitamin B1 and also a vitamin uh, B6. And... Also within carrots, there's uh, potassium, there's magnesium, there's phosphorus, there's biotin, which they, uh, if you look in the markers, they kind of separate those things off and have you buy them all different. You know, they'll say here, buy some vitamin A, or over here, buy some vitamin C, especially like when cold season comes around or the flu season. Here, over here, here's your vitamin D. It's all a marketing scheme. But what they really don't go into detail on is telling you that a lot of these things are actually already in these fruits and vegetables. It's already there. You're getting like a, I don't know, what, how many different vitamins in the name of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different vitamins and even more. You're getting it all in one from one vegetable. And that's just a carrot. Imagine if you had a whole lot of different things along with that carrot. I don't know, some, some green vegetables, some romaine lettuce, some spinach, some green peppers, anything. All these different fruits and vegetables have more than one vitamin, nutrient, and minerals in them. So you pretty much are flooding your body with all this nutrition. So that's the reason why I recommend carrot because it's one of those things that it just packs so much in it that you're getting your money's worth for them. And they're fairly cheap too. So uh, one of the other things that uh, carrots contain is uh, phytonutrients like lutein, lycopene, uh, zeaxanthin. I can only know if I'm pronouncing these right, but that's, nobody's going to read really what they are anyway. So, but pretty much these things are put in there to, uh, to help uh, break down toxins. They help uh, the body uh, build and produce enzymes. And um, the other uh, fruit, not the other fruit, but a fruit that I also recommend to do with the juicing is the apple and Granny Smith in particular. And the reason why um, I like Granny Smith or I choose Granny Smith according to my research is that the apple has is not the sweetest of all apples. It does have some sweetness to it, but most thing that you're gonna notice about a Granny Smith is that it's tart. And that flavor that you're tasting, that tart flavor is something called malic acid. 
and malic acid pretty much helps with pain reduction and it's also a general uh, I'm sorry a general detoxification it increases your energy it deactivates toxins like metals that's within the body and also it helps pull those things to the liver so you guys remember in the last video and I'm gonna probably mention it more than once the coffee enema okay so these things like the juicing with the carrot and the apple and other things they pretty much pull toxins carcinogens and uh, free radicals to the lymph system and through circulation it goes through the liver to the liver and what happens is the liver pretty much tries to filtrate all this and the reason why again I recommend doing the enemas is that when you put the coffee into your system the caffeine from the coffee goes into your system faster and speeds up the process of the liver pretty much pushing what it has in it out your system so the way that toxins and things leave out of the liver is through the uh, bile duct and when it leaves the bile duct it instantly is in your digestive tract which is like the uh, large intestines or the small intestines but um, as soon as it gets there the only place it can go is out so let's think of it this way if I'm sitting here with something that's completely full and it needs to get out if I open up a little hole and allow all that to drain out, then it's going to allow everything else that's still trapped within the system to come there and be drained out as well. But it's not going to be like a quick fix, a one-time thing. It needs to be a continuous thing because just think, you probably been having things that's been in your system for years and years and years. So your body needs time to pretty much pull all that stuff to the liver in order for you to excrete it out or defecate or poop, pretty much is what I'm saying. So that's why I recommend juicing is it because it's one of the best ways to pretty much get your energy back, to get your health back, to boost your immune system tremendously and allow your body pretty much to fight off these things that's within it. So we have something that we call in the medical terms that's called like alkalinity. And what I'm talking about is referring to the body. See, if your body is pretty much acidic, you are susceptible to being sick a lot more. So let's say, for instance, we're going to talk about like different um, diseases, cancer, lupus, tuberculosis. Most virus, diseases, bacteria, they have a hard time surviving in a highly oxygenated environment. So if you pretty much put your body into a state to where it's constantly acidic, that means there's not a lot of oxygen in there. And these things thrive in areas like that. So if you put things in your system that's highly oxygenated, those things cannot survive in there. They pretty much will die off. So um, food like vegetables, you notice that you have to make sure that like when they're growing, you have to make sure that they're watered correctly, that they're properly getting enough sunlight and all that. The reason why is because those fruits and vegetables are living things. Meat is not living. Meat is dead. So you pretty much are putting dead things when you eat that in your body. Now, I'm not saying that it's bad to eat meat, which to some people in some cases it, it is. I eat meat, but I don't eat a lot of it. So eating meat, you're pretty much eating something that's dead. It's not alive anymore. But you can reap the benefits from meat from having, you know, the protein. And I'm going to hit on that too while I'm on it. Most people think in order for me to build muscle or in order for me to be stronger or pretty much, you know, you always hear things like make sure you're getting enough protein. And they always think that it needs to come from some type of animal product. But you know what? If you think about it, and matter of fact, from my research, I know for a fact that animals, yeah, we eat animals, we eat the flesh of animals, we get protein from the meat. But you need to ask yourself, where do the animal get its protein from? Most animals, herbivores, they eat grass. You know, they eat fruits and vegetables and plants. They eat a ton of it. So plants, fruits, vegetables, things like that, they're really the only thing, the only, I'm sorry, they're really the only thing that actually has real protein. 
uh, I work out a lot. I um, get my protein in, but I usually get most of mine from a plant-based diet. And it throws people off because they say things like, well, you're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to gain anything because you're not getting enough protein in your system. Well, fruits and vegetables have protein in. As a matter of fact, they're really the only thing that has protein in. Everything else gets its protein from fruits and vegetables. An animal don't get, you know, like cows or chickens. Look how much meat is produced off of them. They don't eat meat. So once again, where do they get their protein from? They're getting it from the ground. It's pretty much mind-boggling when you think about it. Most people say, I never really, I never thought about that. And it's, it's actually pretty unique. So you can look up things, you know, look, we have a whole wide world web that's before us where you can look up bodybuilders who are full vegans. And I'm not telling you to go vegan because once again, I eat meat myself. I just don't eat a lot of it. If you look at the uh, Heart Association, they will tell you that there's a certain amount of meat or a limit on meat that they want you to eat because meat contains some carcinogens. It's just a given. It does. So me, myself, we try to pretty much buy everything that's organic. Or if I read on a label and see that I don't care if it says USDA approved, I want to see that it's grass fed. And um, most of the time in a city that I'm in, I like to try to get a hold of some local farmers or people that have their own slaughterhouses and actually go and visit the place to see where, the, but that's me, I'm a little extreme, go visit the place and see how their animals are raised because I want it to be pretty much grass fed. I don't want no grain fed or corn fed or anything like that. I don't want any of that. I want it to be completely grass fed, the natural way that these animals were pretty much meant to eat. And just like with eggs or like with chickens, if it says free range chicken, that means the chickens were pretty much able to go and eat like normal chickens in the wilderness would. You know, so one way that I can tell if I'm getting something that's truly organic is because I can taste the earth in it. You know, if I don't taste the earth in it, then I'm kind of skeptical about it. It should taste a little bit like pretty much, you know, the, you guys know the smell of rain or like the smell of dirt. So I do like these weird things where I would say like this tastes the way that dirt smells. So in other words, I taste the earth in the food. So that's a little bit of input I want to give you guys on juicing and the benefits of it. There's a ton of more benefits to juicing than what I named, but just for family, friends, and associates, the ones who's been kind of following me, uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, I, I juice. I mean, and with as far as the enemas go, I'm not sick. I'm not a sickly person, but I do do something called a reboot where once every six months, I pretty much just do nothing but juicing and I do a coffee enema a day and I do that for a whole week. That's just pretty much what I call just a reboot. It's pretty much to set my um, system back on track. Not that my system really gets off track, but look, I'm human. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and say that I just do everything completely perfect because I don't. But what I do is pretty much I eat 80% healthy and 20% bad. I still eat out at fast food restaurants whenever I get the craving. I still eat things like ice cream. I don't really drink a lot of milk. You know, milk is a high thing that pretty much causes a lot of allergens. But I only really drink milk if I'm having something special like a cook, like cookies or if I'm having like uh, some cake. But otherwise, I don't drink it. Because if you think about it, human beings are the only mammals that drink milk after they've been weaned. No other animal does it unless we give it to them. But naturally, no animal drinks milk once they've been weaned for it. But that's for another subject. But as of right now, that's all I have to say for right now. If you guys have any questions, anything, leave a comment. Let me know what's on your mind, what you're thinking, what you might possibly be struggling with. You don't have to leave your name. This is family that I'm talking to. You don't have to leave your name or anything on the comments page. But if you do have something that you want me to hit on, shoot me a text. You guys have my number. Let me know. But for those that are watching the general public amongst YouTube, let me know what concerns you might have. I'll do my best to help you. Once again, this is Ty, Modern Renaissance Man. And I hope you guys are all having a good day. Stay healthy. Be healthy. Live healthy. God bless you.